So I've done a deep dive review before of Rux, but hey Rux, check for updates. Rux is a desktop robot, and right now he's checking to see if he has any updates, which he will go out, check across the internet to see um, is in fact there an update available. If there's an update, he goes back to his, his normal screen. Um, Rux has integration with ChatGPT, so you can talk to Rux and do things. The other robot on my desk today is this little guy. He's a new guy. Uh, he's in the Ebo family, uh, actually in their Rolla family. Um, they have really small, uh, which I have one uh, that I've showed before. Uh, this is a slightly larger. This is one of the... Uh, uh, home kind of patrol robot. So I'm getting it all set up uh, and will slowly but surely uh, integrate it into the process. Uh, but both of these are small robots that you can use in a variety of ways. New Rux goes on your desktop. Uh, and uh, as you can see, still checking for his update. Um, and the Rolla device actually usually sits on the floor and will move around. You can create a home security system. Um, what I use it for actually is checking on the dogs when I'm not home. Um, because when I'm not home, they get grouchy, apparently. Um, at least that's what, what uh, the other members of the house have told me, that uh, when I'm not home, the dogs get a little grouchy. So... I can check on the dogs, but I can also see my office, see what's going on, see uh, if anything's changed. Uh, so I, that, that's one of the things that I'm looking at. But the other thing I'm doing is setting up uh, learning patterns and trying to figure out, you know, what what is the robot's input? What is it looking for? How does it work? The software uh, for the Rolla solution is pretty nice. Uh, so let's let's take a look at the physical robot. It's USB-C, you can see it actually has a very nice speaker at the back. Um, it's pretty loud. It's not horribly loud, but it's pretty loud. Um, it has tank treads. I like tank treads on smaller robots because it offers more flexibility than wheels, right? If you think about wheels, the problem is they get stuck or, or uh, you know, they don't, they don't operate cleanly. The tank treads actually work very well. Um, they're a little flimsy. Let me demonstrate. Well, first of all, they are true tank treads, right? So they have actual tension uh, between the wheels and the wheels turn. Um, the treads don't actually turn, the wheels turn. Um, but, it, you know, it's not bad. They have tension. You can, you get a little bit of flow. Um, and, and they're very stable um, because of the tank treads, right? You don't have to worry about um, the, the system, you know, toppling over or falling. Um, because, you know, obviously, you know, you don't want, you don't want robots hitting edges and things like that. It does also like a, a Roomba, it has edge control, right? If it goes to the edge of a, a precipice, like the end of my leg here, you know, it will, it will pop up and, and basically, um, you know, not go up. And then, you know, we have, um, buttons on top. That's the calling. It's actually calling me right now. Uh, I push the paw button. Uh, which actually lets the Rolla call me, or I can call the Rolla from remote, uh, which is really cool. It, it, you know, if you wanted to, I don't know, if you wanted to let somebody that broke into your house know, um, hey, you know, I'm watching you. Uh, oh, and by the way, it's cloud-based pictures, so, hey, <laughs> you know, oops. Anyway, uh, as you can see, Rux is still uh, slowly but surely working on uh, um, the updates, Normally, when he flashes like this for this long, it means, in fact, he's got uh, a bunch of updates to consider. Anyway, uh, that is my extended review. I will do a deeper dive review on rob on these robots and, and the other two robots I have in the basement uh, later on. This is just the cursory initial review. Bye.